What was your name again? Uh, George. George, okay. Sup, nerds? I'm Wes, Never Board Gaming, hanging out with my good buddy Mike. Mike, how are you doing today? Oh, fantastic, man. It's Gen Con. It's been a good Gen Con for oh, you? Oh, it's been very good. Awesome, awesome. What are we looking at here today? Uh, so we're taking a look at Tiny Epic Mechs. We just announced this, like, just a couple of days ago. All right. Uh, this one is super exciting. We've taken the item meeples to, the, uh, to a next level, but, like, in a big, big way. Yeah. So you're actually putting your item meeples in these exosuits. Now, these open up because you start oh, on man. foot. So you have to, you know, through the merits of your play, power up into these exosuits. Uh, there's one mech that sits in the center of the board, and this is kind of the king of the hill. Everybody's vying mm -hmm. to get into this mech. And again, this guy opens up as well. Uh, the items, they all come off. Because it's modular, you're going to start with, with nothing, but as you buy weapons to kind of power your guy up, that's how you'll kind of customize uh, both your strengths and, of course, how your mech looks. Yeah. Uh, so that's super exciting. Tiny Epic Mechs, two to four players right now, but we are working on a solo play. We love okay. solo gamers. All of our Tiny Epic games have a solo version mm -hmm. in them. Uh, so just know that that one is in the works. All right. Um, but yeah, so it plays about 45 minutes or so. It's an action programming game. Okay. Um, and, you know, so. In this one, you, you build out an arena. There's a lot of PvP combat. I mean, that's really the whole focus of the game. Mm -hmm. There are some aspects of resource management and area control to like help you score points. Uh, but it's just, it's so exciting. Nice. So is it last being standing? Or like, how does the game end? What are you trying to accomplish in this game? Yeah, so it's a six round game. Uh, right. It's not last man standing. It's gonna be victory points that determine okay. the winner. Uh, every other round is a scoring round. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna score for uh, area control, if you, cause you can like deploy landmines and turrets and, and these are dangerous to your opponents, but they score you a lot of points. Okay. Uh, so on those scoring rounds, your opponents, they're gonna be focused on trying to just mow through your landmines and your turrets and just taking all this damage and stuff, but just making sure that you don't have the area control Control to get the points you're trying to go for. And then there's also a lot of points scored in combat. So you okay. definitely want to be engaging in combat. Uh, that's going to be one of the main ways that you score points. At the end, you just tally it all up. And you know you got a little tracker anyway, so it's yeah. easy enough. And then uh, there you go. Okay, so a lot of a lot of PvP combat, no player elimination, so everybody stays in the game, you just right. keep going. So it's almost like Halo or old school video games where it's just like kill, respawn, die, respawn, like just like that cyclical, just like go in there, guns blazing, and just yeah, kill everybody. Exactly. Very cool. And now, where does this fall into the story of Ogmore? <laughs> it's a good one. Uh, so this is in the year 3030. All right. Yeah, big uh, epic mech battles. They're the sport of the future. Uh, this is this is after tiny epic zombies. Okay. Uh, we survived. But before made it through. tiny epic galaxies. Gotcha. Okay. Very very cool. So you're gonna see the same. Characters going through the store legacy, tiny epic legacy, it's or maybe be maybe great. I should say it's in a different universe and it takes place even before tiny epic kingdoms. Oh man, now we're going Star Go Wars. Go the Star on the Wars sunsets. route. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And so, when are we expecting this to hit Kickstarter? Uh, September thirteenth, next September. month. Awesome. Very very cool. Well, guys, if you miss out on Gen Con, then you miss seeing a sweet game, but it's going to be hitting Kickstarter soon. Obviously, we've already done our Kickstarter preview for it. You should definitely check that out. And I can't recommend that you back this campaign enough. This might be my new favorite Tiny Epic. What is your favorite thing about this game? Uh... I love the action programming. Okay. It's, it's really exciting. That's a first for you guys, right? It is a first. You think you've got this whole thing planned out. You're like, this is going to work perfect. And then somebody walks across your path and just throws it all away. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, the ad hoc mode, which is what happens kind of when you lose a combat, it allows you to pivot and, and kind of try to get back to the strategy you had. Mm -hmm. um, but I like that it's, uh, I like the combat, too. It's a lot of, lot of fighting, and it's great. Very, very cool. Well, guys, as soon as this campaign goes live, we'll have a link in the description box down below where you can go on over and back it. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you'll never be bored. We finger gun. Mike, I thought you watched my videos. Uh, but it's just, it's so exciting. Nice. It's Super gone. nice. It's gone. That's because the game is so great. It's it so just good. like blows your it mind is away. So good.